Have you ever wanted to make your photos super cool and dreamy and ethereal and glowy and you've seen a lot of people on Instagram do it and you want to do it too? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what we're going to do is create what's called an Orton effect. Uh, right now I'm here in Lightroom and I have a photo from the Tetons. Um, it's a cool photo that I like. Uh, we have all this cool stormy cloud um, over the, the mountain range there. All this neat light coming through. Um, and I just really like this tree. I think the tree was really cool. Um, and I don't know, being artsy with my uh, composition here with that single tree. Um, I may actually just raise the blacks and the shadows just a little bit, um, but I think that's overall pretty good. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit Command E. Uh, you could also just come up here to your photo tab, go into edit and then edit in Adobe Photoshop. Um, but I'm just going to hit Command E. And then we'll give that just a second to drop that over into Photoshop. Okay, so we're here in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to my layer tab and I'm going to unlock that bottom layer. And then I'm going to hit Command J and just do a copy of it. And now we're gonna make our effect. So essentially what we're doing with an Orton effect, kind of what we wanna look at, is we're wanting to try to achieve glowy highlights. Um, we, want, we want highlights that are warm and you know, give kind of a, a warm and glowy ethereal feel. So, um, super easy to do. So, like I said, we start by making that other copy. And you can do this after you make a bunch of adjustments in, in Photoshop if you want, um, just by combining all of your layers into one um, final layer and um, basing it off that layer. You always wanna do this off of a duplicate of whatever your other layers are. You don't wanna do this on your main layer. So. I have my duplicate copy here, and we'll just rename this Orton Effect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to our Filter tab. We're gonna come down to Blur, and then we'll hit Gaussian Blur. Okay, and then we want to try to match um, the radius of this to whatever camera, whatever the uh, megapixels of the camera that we're using is. So for this photo, I shot this on a Sony a7R III, which is a 45 megapixel camera. So we're gonna bump this up to 44.4 uh, is good. And we'll hit okay. Okay, and now what we want to do is we'll come back over to filter and we'll go to camera raw filter. And this is just gonna open this up into camera raw. And again, this only opens up that single layer. If you put this into camera raw, it's only pulling that one single layer into camera raw. So now what we're just going to do is I'm going to jack the contrast up. I'm going to come over to color and I'm going to hit um, that temperature, just warm it up a bit, maybe hit a little bit of that vibrance. I'm going to come down to the color mixer and some of these oranges I'll bump up a little bit. Uh, maybe I will turn some of the uh, um, magentas a little bit more uh, orangey and let's see. I think that'll do right there. So I'm not doing anything super crazy, maybe a little bit more on the uh, warmth actually. Yeah, right there, we'll do that. Um, maybe slight bit on the tint, just towards the, the uh, purples. And I think that'll be good. So we'll hit okay. Okay, we're back here in Photoshop. So now we have our really contrasty, warm, or an effect layer. Now what I want to do is I'm going to come up here to my TK Luminosity Mask panel. This Luminosity Mask is free in Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, just go search TK Luminosity Mask and it's a free plugin. It's super effective. I love this thing. I use it on just about every single photo that I have ever edited. So, and it's super easy to use. We'll do a whole video on these at some point, but I'm just going to open up the uh, Luminosity Mask panel and I'm going to hit my Lights 1. So make sure that Lights 1 is selected and then we'll come down and hit apply. So now this is going to apply that layer only to the highlights. It's just creating a mask um, on that layer so it's only applied to the highlights. Now we're going to hit our blend mode. We're gonna come down to soft light. I just like to do soft light um, just because that works a little bit better. And then we will cut the opacity down to, um, this is kind of per personal preference. I usually keep it around 25 to 30. Um, I have seen some people who you know, kind of jack it up to close to 100%, um, but I like to keep it a little bit more subtle. So we'll say like 25. So, okay, we'll do a little before and after. So this is without the Orton effect. This is with the Orton effect, without and with 
just a little glow. It's it's very, very slight. We actually might bump the opacity up on this. Let's say, let's jack it up to like 40, maybe. Okay, so without the Orton effect, with the Orton effect, and then I might even come in here, add a little bit of a, uh, a dodge layer. Again, we'll do, I'm actually gonna do mid-tones. This is a little bit extra. Turn on my brush, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of light down here at the very bottom. So, yep. I like that a lot. So then we'll hit Command W, and we'll hit Save. And this is just gonna pull it right back into Lightroom. So super easy. Okay, so now we have our final image right here in Lightroom. So, like I said, this is a super easy process. Um, there's really not much, you don't really even need that much knowledge in Photoshop to be able to do this. Um, it's very, very simple. I like it just because, one, it gives us that kind of glowy feeling. Um, it it kind of softens the image down a little bit and just warms up some of those highlights. I also like it because it makes it just a little extra punchy uh, with the colors. It kind of brings out some of those oranges a little bit more. So this is a really effective tool to use when you have um, some really strong light in your uh, in your photo. So it does a really good job at, at warming it up just a little extra, just a little extra um, push to that warmth. So, and again, it just makes it a little bit more punchy. So that's why I like to use it. Obviously, this is a little bit more of a creative thing. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but it's just kind of a fun little uh, extra tool to be able to throw into your photos um, when you, you when you want to. So, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you need help with any, you know, figuring anything out using Photoshop. There are a lot of different ways to use Orton effects and there's a lot of, or excuse me, there's a lot of different ways to, to make Orton effects and you can use this by you know using a color balance adjustment and all these different things but um i like to just use camera raw filter it's just i don't know it's, it's simple to me but let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video bye